Hi guys, my name is Kimmy from the Bootsy Library and today we'll be making our wood bead keychain. So this is what you should have gotten in your kit. So I had in my kits, I had um, three different color options. So you should have gotten either um, two different color paints. I had dark green, light purple, or black and white. Um, the dark green I, I paired with a black paint and the light purple I paired with a white paint. So you should have gotten a little container with two different color paints. You should have gotten uh, five wood beads. A piece of string, a little tassel, a paintbrush, a lobster clasp like this, a little wood skewer stick, a paper clip, and also um, a piece of wax paper with some tape on it as well. And then you'll also need scissors for this craft. And then this is this is optional. Um, you might need some tweezers at the end, and I'll we'll show you why. So I'm going to pull you guys down to show you. First, I'm going to kind of talk about um, some different ways you can paint your wood beads. And then I'll show you um, a couple different ways to put the keychains together. So I'm going to pull you guys down so you can see the area. So I painted a couple of different beads already and I'll show you what I did. So I chose the dark green paint because I really like the dark green colors. So I chose to do a dark green, just a dark green, one plain black. I did a half and half and I'll show you how to do that. And then I just did some spots with the black paint. And then I wanted one um, that's raw, raw wood. So um, I'm kind of going to explain about some of this stuff. So I gave you this wood skewer to help you um, paint your beads. You're probably like, why did you give me this pointy skewer stick um you're gonna thread your beads on here actually and that will help you um paint your beads a little bit nicer because i know if you use a plate you can paint them and then put them on the plate but they might stick to the plate so you can just use i used two cups and i used cups that i didn't mind getting paint on or you can just use one kind of like this you can kind of hold and paint as well um, that's probably the easiest way to paint them and then they can dry all the way around like I said So it doesn't stick to a table or a paper plate or anything like that So that's what the skewer is for so I I think I threaded all four of my beads that I painted right on there And I just painted them like that and that was actually pretty easy because like I said it dries all the way around It doesn't stick so that is what your skewer is for and I'm gonna show you um the tape. I used the tape for this half and half bead that I did. So I have this half and half, half painted and half raw wood. I gave you a piece of tape and um, the piece of tape I gave you is um, thicker than this. I just cut it in half like it looks like like this and then you just put it around your raw bead so you can just take this off. You can cut it in half. Use the edge that I that you didn't cut to kind of make that line just so it's um you know it's a perfect straight line based on like this side you see this gets a little bit skinnier towards the end and that's the one I cut but um use the other side that you didn't cut to kind of wrap your bead around and this is optional if you don't want to you don't have to paint the way I painted my beads you can kind of decide on what you want to do if you're um better at drawing or painting you can do little flowers on it I saw or you can do letters or you can just paint them all solid colors you don't have to paint them at all if you don't want to. It's really up to you. So I just took the tape and I just did, I just looked at it, just eyeballed it. And I did half of the bead and you just put the tape around it. Just kind of like that. And then I just teared off the extra tape that I didn't need. And I just flatten it a little bit and then you just um, thread it on there and then you just paint the half that you want to paint for a half and half look for your bead so I just wanted to show you guys why I gave you the tape and that can be an option for painting your beads and then like I said the rest these two I just did solid colors and then this one I just did um, just like spots basically I just took my paintbrush and made lines and stuff but like I said, you can use, do polka dots, you can do stripes, you can do half and half, you can either do like a half black, half green. It's really up to you on what you want. You just got to be creative with it. 
So I'm going to show you on how to put together your keychains now. Now we talked about a little bit about painting, we're going to go back, go and talk about how to put it together. So I'm going to move all this painting stuff aside. And you're going to need your string, your lobster clasps, your beads, your tassel, your paper clip, scissors, and then um, tweezers if you have them. So first, you're going to take your string, your white string. You probably won't need all this string, you'll probably cut some off, but that will be towards the end. And then you're going to take your lobster clasp like this. I'm going to show you three different different ways to put your um, keychains together. So one is just going to be a simple knot at the end. The second one is going to be um, with the tassel and it's going to have a knot at the end. And then the third one's going to be a little bit more harder. It's going to be a hidden knot so you don't see the knot and I'll show you kind of what they all look like as well. So first I'm going to do just one with a knot at the end with no tassel. Maybe you don't like the tassel, I don't know. So we're just gonna string our string through our lobster class, through the end that doesn't open. And we're gonna pull it and line up our strings to be about even, kind of like this. Then we're gonna string our beads in whatever order you want. So I think I want my black one first. And I'm gonna string both strings as you can see, I have both strings, and I'm going to string them both through each of the beads. So both strings are going to go through the beads, and you're just going to pull the bead to the end, and then just kind of pick what beads you want the order in. And the first way I'm showing you is just a simple knot at the end with no tassel. This way is definitely the easiest because you don't really have to do much to the end of it. Once you have all your beads strung on it, you're just going to double knot the end just to secure it. So one, and definitely do double knot and I would just pull really tight at the end. I'm not going to pull it tight right now because I want to unravel it to show you the other two ways. And just do a double knot and pull it tight. And then it will have like a simple kind of knot at the end. That's kind of what it's going to look like. So I'm going to unravel this real quick and then we're going to show you a second method with the tassel. So you're basically just going to do that same method um, as I just showed you with no tassel, but we're just going to add the tassel to it. So you're just going to string your lobster clasp and then string your beads and string both strings in each of your bead and then just pick the left or the right side, doesn't matter, and just add your tassel onto it. Pull all the way to the end, and then just do a knot or a double knot. I would definitely do a double knot just so it doesn't unravel when you're using the keychain, because that could happen. And then just pull it super really tight, pull as tight as you can, and then just do a double knot. With this one, you will see the little bit of white string at the end. It will kind of look like this. Um, so that's just a simple way to put the tassel on. So the next way I'm going to show you is um, going to be the hardest way. And that's going to have a hidden knot. So you won't even able, you're not going to see that knot at the end. So I'm going to just take everything apart for right now, just to show you again with all the steps for this one, because this one's a little bit more complicated. So I just took everything apart. You're, again, you're gonna take your lobster class, and at the end that doesn't open, we're gonna string our string right through it, pull it about half in the middle of the strings, line, make the strings about even like that. So we're gonna pick um, our pattern again. I'm gonna do the same pattern, and we're gonna thread two beads on with both pieces of string. So like we did with the last one, um, we're going to do just two pieces of string and we're going to bead two of them through. So these two pieces will go through this one. And then I want this green one, half green, half regular. So you're going to thread two of them on with the two pieces of string. And then we're going to take either pick a left or the right string doesn't matter but we're going to keep one of the strings to the side 
and we're gonna only use one string to thread the rest of the beads. So this one string, um, thread the rest of your beads. Put my raw one, my spotted one, and then my dark green one. And then you're gonna add your tassel to the end of that as well. So now that you have all your components onto your string, we're gonna take this string and thread it back up through those three beads that we added to the bottom. Don't do it, do it in the tassel because one, it won't fit, and then two, it's just gonna, um, everything's just gonna fall off. We're only doing it through the beads, so we're gonna just thread this string back up each bead, each of those three beads that we added to the bottom with the singular string. So up the green one, up my spotted one, and up the raw wood one. The last three I added on there. And it's gonna meet the other string, meet up with the other string that we just left behind before. Now that they're, they met up again, um, we're just gonna tie a double knot. And we're gonna pull really tight because we want our keychain nice and tight so it's, um, it's kind of stiff and it looks a little bit better so it's not too loose. <clears throat> so we're gonna pull Actually, another thing you could do is you could, the smaller string that we just thread it back up, you could just pull that tight. You could just pull that up just to make it a little bit tighter as well. So I'm just pulling it up like that. And then pulling the long string down too, just so it connects a little bit better. And now I'm tying that double knot. And this is where you're gonna have to pull tight. super tight and I'm gonna do a double knot because I don't want that knot to become loose while I'm using the keychain and pull that nice and tight once you have it the tightness you want pull mine a little bit tighter I'm gonna cut the extra excess off. So these two sides, I'm gonna cut as close as I can. And then we're gonna hide this knot. So now you see this knot is kinda halfway through your keychain. So we don't want to see that. So this is where the paper clip, and I'm gonna warn you now, just be careful with the paper clip. If you have tweezers, um, maybe definitely use that. And you're just gonna push that knot. I'm gonna push that knot into the either this one or this one, the hole of the of the bead. So just pick either one. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna push mine down, and I'm just gonna shove that knot in there as best as I can. Like I said, just be careful with this because you're pushing down. And you don't want to miss and stab your finger. So just take your time with it. Don't push too hard. It will go in. And then same with the paper clip. You can do this with the paper clip. Definitely be careful with the paper clip because it is sharper. And it's a little bit more weaker than uh, tweezers. Or even if I gave you the skewer and you still have it, you can use kind of the skewer to point, push that in as well. I find the tweezers to work definitely the best. And I'm not going to do this too crazy because I don't want you guys to watch me for like five minutes. It might take you five minutes, it might take you ten just to push that in there. So I'm just not gonna, I'm gonna kind of work on this after, but I got most of it pretty much inside the bead. So I'm gonna kind of show you a little bit. So this is what it's kind of gonna look like gonna look like that you can barely see the string but it's gonna look just like this and then you have your keychain so um just try to push that knot in there if you can't um you can kind of trim it with your scissors again I have a little bit of string there that I'm gonna try to trim off and then push the rest of the bead uh the rest of the knot into the bead okay so I hope you guys enjoyed this craft um good luck if you need any help um 
you definitely can come into the library and I can either do with this with you in person if there's anything you don't understand or I have another tutorial video that I followed to learn how to make this. I can send that to you as well. The lady um, really explained it very well in her video as well. So let me know if you guys need any help or if you guys need any supplies. Maybe you mess up on the wood beads. I might have some extra ones, okay? Thank you guys and good luck with your keychains. And have a great day. Bye-bye. Hi guys, I'm kind of inserting this clip in between because I just forgot to mention something. Um, I was putting, hiding my knot into these beads like you just saw and um, something that else you can do to help you get the knot in. Once the knot is like just, it's pretty much in but it just shows a little bit, you can just twist these beads together and then kind of push them together and it will do a great job with pushing the knot in and hiding it as well.